Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 15 shortcuts that you must have on your iOS 15 device. Now shortcuts are very useful, most of them will help you do a lot of things faster and of course do more with your iPhone. So in this video I have about 14 of those that I believe every iPhone user should have on their iPhone. Now before we get into the shortcuts make sure to smash the like button of this video that is very helpful and of course will help this video and this channel do much much better. First of all is Shazam++. Now you know that you can use Shazam now from the control center of your iOS device but Shazam++ will do much more for you. So let's just say you're listening to a song and you run Shazam++. Let me show you guys what happens here. So let's just recognize the song real quick. Now once Shazam++ will recognize the song, you can see what it does right here. It will display this menu and lets you find that song anywhere you want. All you have to do is just tap on find links and now you can have links to that song on any of the services that you might use. From Spotify to Apple Music, YouTube, you have Pandora, you have SoundCloud, basically anything you can think of and all the popular services that people use nowadays, you can find the link to that song really quickly. So that's how useful this shortcut is. Of course, with the default Shazam feature on iOS, you can only find the song on Apple Music. With this one, you can find it anywhere you want. Next up is background sounds. This is a simple shortcut. It allows you to quickly turn on and off the new iOS 15 feature, background sounds. So by default, you will have to first add it to your control center and then 3D touch here and then tap here to turn on or off background sounds. But with this shortcut, all you gotta do is of course run to the shortcut and you're good to go. So just tap right here to turn it on and you can go ahead and choose whichever of the sounds you want to turn on and then you're good to go. They will start playing on your device. Now, the cool thing is that you can have this, of course, as a widget on your home screen and you can turn on background sounds directly from your home screen. Dictate to notes is the next shortcut for the video. This one is pretty helpful. It allows you to dictate anything you want to notes quickly from the shortcut. All you have to do is just run the shortcut and dictate anything you want. This is a test note. Just like that, you tap the stop button and you can go ahead and allow always right there and you're good to go. Now it has created a new note and it has been saved. Set some alarms is the next shortcut for this video. You can see here I have no alarms at all, but set some alarms will allow you to set a bunch of them at the same time. So let's say you gotta wake up early and you need to set like four or five alarms so that you don't miss the alarms. Well, this shortcut will help you out. You run the shortcut and it's as simple as this. Choose when you want to wake up, let's say 8 a.m. So you want the alarms to start at 8 a.m. or end at 8 a.m. So we want to do here end and then choose here how many alarms you want to set. So let's go with five alarms and then choose the time between alarms. So this will be in minutes. So let's go with eight minutes between alarms and click done. And now you're good to go. You can see if we go again to the clock app, we have the alarms. They end at eight and they of course will start way earlier. Five alarms with an eight minute interval. Share Wi-Fi with QR code. This one is very simple and very, very useful. It allows you to quickly share your Wi-Fi network with anyone. You simply run the shortcut, it shows you the QR code, they scan it and automatically join your network without you having to give out your passcode and this is very, very useful. Now what you wanna do here is of course, you wanna configure your network, so you tap right there on the three dots and then tap right on that blue button and go to setup Tap here and then enter the SSID, this is the Wi-Fi network name and then the passcode and you're good to go. Simply tap on the shortcut and share the QR code. Reverse image search is next up. This one lets you search for any image on the internet. Simply copy an image that you might have saved on your photo library for example and then with the image copied you just run the shortcut and it will google that image and of course it will find bunch of images that are similar if not exactly the same as that one and of course that way allowing you to find any image that you want. Robo shorten is next up. This is a very simple shortcut but yet very useful. It allows you to shorten any URL that you have copied on your clipboard. You run the shortcut and it gives you two different options. 
choose whichever one you want and then the link will be shortened so you can see right now it's doing its job now it's done you can see now if we paste right here it will show the short link this is very very useful especially when trying to share something maybe on twitter or on any social media you go ahead and shorten the link and you're good to go countdown to any date allows you to quickly create a countdown for any date you want you simply run the shortcut and then choose here the date from you can see the format right here so let's just go ahead and choose the date here so let's just go with a date here a random date and then tap done and then of course go ahead and enter the clock as well so let's go with eight And now we should be good to go. Let's click done here and just enter a title here. Click done and now it will create a countdown for that exact date and time as well. Now what you can do here is of course add this as a bookmark on your Safari and anytime you want to have access to this countdown you can do that from there or even add it to the home screen of your device as a shortcut. Next up is extract PDF pages. It allows you to extract any PDF page out of a PDF file. So if you have a file with a bunch of pages, but you only need like a page or two, you can extract those out of the file using this shortcut. Simply run the shortcut and choose the PDF file from the files app. And once you have done that, it will show you here a pop-up asking you whether you want to extract a few or most pages. So choose whichever option you want to use. So let's go with a few pages right there and you can see it shows the numbers of the pages. So the PDF file that I have loaded here has four pages. I want to extract number two, go ahead and select that, click done and now it will show me that page. So here's number two and of course I can go ahead and share this or even save it as a PDF file but now containing only one page. Next up, we have another PDF shortcut. This one is called PDF to Image Converter. It allows to convert any PDF file into an image. So just run the shortcut and load the PDF file that you want to use. And once you have done that, you will be able to tap right here and save that as a picture on the camera roll of your device. So you can choose the album in which you want to save it right here and you're good to go. Now you have that PDF file saved as a picture. Next is measurement converter. It allows us to basically convert anything you want and it's pretty simple to use. You run the shortcut and from here you will see a list of things that you can convert from speed to mass, length, temperature and even volume. So let's choose length here. So we want to choose here from which unit we want to convert. So we want to convert from meters. Let's say here 100 meters. Click done and then we want to convert this into inches. So let's choose inches right there and you can see it will show you right there the result. And once you click done, it will also give you the option to copy the result to your clipboard. Time between dates is one of my favorite shortcuts. It allows you to quickly calculate the time between two different dates. So run the shortcut and choose the first date. So let's choose the today's date, click done. And now we have to choose the next day so let's go October 5th click done right there and then choose what you want to know how many hours how many days or weeks or months or seconds or even minutes or until that date so let's just go with dates here and once you choose what you want to know here it is the result six days until October 5th charging notifications is the next one this one is also pretty useful it will give you a notification once your device is charged at a certain level that you choose you run the shortcut here and you can choose from one of the presets or you can tap choose right there and enter any exact percentage that you want and then once you click done you will get notified once your device is charged at le that level adjust clipboard is the last shortcut for this video this one will allow you to adjust anything that you have on your clipboard so you run the shortcut and it shows you what you have saved on your clipboard from here of course you can add stuff or you can delete anything you want modify anything you want 
click done and then of course the result the rest that is left will be copied back on your clipboard so that's basically it for this video guys these are some of the best shortcuts that you must have on your ios 15 device hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one